Okay, part two of the guitar modeling. Um, make sure you save your file. I called mine bc underscore rich underscore zero one. Um, so we finished the basic outline of the guitar. Now we are ready to match the shape with the reference image. And um, to do that, let's select our line. And I'm going to jump to the vertex mode. Uh, vertex sub-object mode and let's select all the vertices like that right click to get the quad menu and as you can see from the top left quadrant uh, the type of vertex currently is corner we're gonna change it to Bezier corner that way we get the screen handles to start uh, changing the shape and just click anywhere in the viewport to deselect the vertices and let's start with this area what we can do is select one vertex at a time and start moving these handles in X and Y and just try to match it to the reference image like that grab this guy move it down grab this guy Move it down like that. Grab this guy. Move it down. Grab this guy. All right, let's work on this. Okay. see yeah looking good um, we might get very sharp edges on the corners here but since the guitar is not gonna be in focus I'm not too concerned about those and uh, I'm also not modeling these details because uh, again this is a low poly version of the guitar um, but if you if you need you can model these separately uh, the tuner and uh, put them on uh, which I'm not gonna cover uh, this is strictly a low poly version so let's zoom into this area and start changing these grab this guy move it like that grab this guy like that and let's see well, this might not look right um, what you can do is add some roundness here by using the fillet option so you select the vertex and in the fillet click and drag the spinner just like that and then you have two vertices you move them in position that's good enough let's grab this guy move it here move it here like that this is good maybe I can use more fillet here just a little bit maybe one here it's not gonna hurt Okay, and that like that. Okay, select this guy. Start moving these. I can fillet it a little bit. Uh, maybe fill in this guy also. Yeah, that's good enough. 
Okay, let's work on this area. And bring these guys down. Down like that. Uh, we definitely need one fillet here. Uh, so let's select this. Okay. And we, I think, would need at least two more vertices in this area uh, because I see there, the line is going straight and then there's this big curve. Um, now, in order to add vertices, you can use this feature called refine. So I turn on the refine, and when you take your mouse over the segment, your cursor changes. Yeah, let's throw in one vertex here and one vertex here. Right click to get out of the refine mode. Select these vertices, move them into position. Select this guy, I'll put it here. And now we just simply take those busy handles and fix the shape. Okay and grab this guy, maybe zoom in a little more. Grab this guy and yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite close and I think this is good. You can spend a little more time to um, get a better shape but let me pause the video see how we're doing with time okay we got few more minutes um, so I'm gonna spend a little more time uh, fixing the shape uh, let's zoom in this area and bring it down a little bring this down a little and I think the curve is a little messy here so let's fix that This is good enough. Need to see the busy handle. Maybe move the vertex in the middle. And lock it like that. That's looking good. This can come down a little bit. That's fine. This is okay. Yeah, it looks better now. Um Maybe we can do a few more fillets here at the corner. So let's go and round these up like that. And then move them in position. For some reason, these are showing up as Bezier. I'm going to change it to Bezier corner so the handles are independent of each other. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, I'll just leave it as it is. This is good for now. I think we're almost out of time. Let me pause. Yeah, time is almost over. So this is looking good so far. Uh, what I'm going to do is get out of the vertex mode by clicking here once and go ahead and save my file. And I'll see you in part three. Thank you.